See what he does to my trailer? You freaking rubbing up against it, dude. Oh, sorry. What is going on guys? So it's a warm one out here and I made the uh, poor choice of wanting to work outside today, but got to do it sometimes. So today we got some trailer upgrades. This is something I've needed to do to the trailer since, you know, since uh, this trailer was given to me and it's definitely a necessary upgrade because, you know, cars break. And my philosophy on something like this is if you have it, you won't need to use it, and if you don't have it, you'll need it. So, that's kind of my thought process. Thankfully, the last year of racing the Camaro, it's only ever had to be pushed onto the trailer one time at TX2K after the fire. So, really not too, too terrible, but I feel once we uh, try to turn it up a little bit more, we may need this. I got this here, Anvil Winch from my boys over at Holly. Side note, if you guys didn't know, Holly LS Fest is going on this weekend. I would love to be there, but I don't really fit the racing rules, obviously. Hopefully next year with Chip, we go up there, have a good time, race in a class of some sort, and yeah, that's the goal. So next year, hopefully, this year, unfortunately, didn't line up. Could have brought, you know, like the wagon or the drift car, but I just didn't. Didn't think those cars would be as enjoyable to run as just not going, I guess. I don't know. Let's give this thing a little unboxing here. So, directions, of course, don't need those. This is the uh, little pull cord. Got all the wiring harness. Nice, solid looking wiring harness with an in and an out button, nice and easy. <clears throat> all looks waterproof. Got a mounting plate, nice steel mounting plate. And I don't know what these are called, They're, they guide the winch cable. I don't know what you exactly call that, I'm sure it has a name. Hardware, the clip, and then the 4,500 pound capacity winch. This thing is nice and small, compact, easy to easy to deal with, and this will be a definitely nice necessary addition to the trailer because there will definitely be some points in uh, this trailer's life where there might not be a running car coming up on this, and especially like with Chip right now, like if I need to, uh, you know, bring it anywhere right this second, be a big kind of a job. This is kind of how I lay it, lay it out. I usually have the fuel tank on the side strapped in and then there's an empty space there unless I run two fuel unless I use two uh, fuel fuel jugs but usually it's cooler fuel and the tent is usually laid across right here so I probably will put it in the corner probably this corner so that you know it could just doesn't really have to pull straight on for it to work so should work right up in this corner I could you know get really fancy cut a hole in the box put it into the box and then run it through but I feel like cutting holes in this box and this front thing isn't exactly high on my list of things I want to do and then I'd still have to figure out how to secure it nicely to the uh the frame here so my other option is to just put some through bolts through this. This, it's all aluminum, but this should be strong enough. So that's probably my next, that's probably what I'm gonna do here, is just kind of tuck it off into this corner up as far as possible. And then you can just hook up to a car like that. So I marked off the holes I wanna drill it's kind of uh, making me cringe a little bit thinking about drilling right into the floor, but should be fine. I need to drill the holes first 
to know how thick it is because these little nuts and bolts are not gonna cut it. They are not long enough. So gotta drill into there and then get some longer nuts and bolts and some, get some longer bolts and then some big washers for the bottom side. Uh, there's some tortoise poop over here. That's, that's a tough break. It's a gigantic tortoise right there. Bunch more tortoise poop here. Uh, I guess I should make sure nothing's under it. No, we're good. Just gonna need some big washers. Anchor. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, I think I need to shift it over a little bit because, uh, which way do I shift it though? Hmm. So you can see the main frame rail is right here and I won't be able to get a bolt up that way because it has to go up through, not down. So I'll probably have to shift it over a little bit. Hmm. I don't know how close I want it this way. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. All right, so I shifted it over just a little bit more and I kind of angled it a little bit because I think that'll help be able to uh, pull the car kind of in the direction I want. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be a big issue, but I think the little bit of angle will kind of help me a little bit here. So I'm gonna go to the hardware store, get some longer bolts. They use these like square ones up top. So you have to use this size. So I gotta go find this same threading, but just a good bit longer, but I gotta drill a hole first. So I know how long I need. Also, if you guys didn't know about these, these things are freaking great. You, you pick where you want to start your hole and you go like this and it's kind of spring loaded and it puts a little dent in there so you can start your drill bit very easily. It makes it awesome. Really like these, this guy, so simple. All right, I went hunting around and I was able to find these at Ace. These are the uh, right size bolts I need, much longer, yada, yada, yada. They are really proud of these things, $2 a bolt almost. <sighs> definitely, uh, definitely a little crazy. If you guys know anywhere to get a good amount of bulk, M metric nuts and bolts, I mean, I'm always, I'm always looking. I try to keep some on the shelf, but prices are crazy to just keep them on the shelf so I haven't really been doing that but yeah I I usually go to uh, tractor supply to load up on standard stuff but when it comes to metric they don't have a good selection and they're a lot more expensive for metric so if you guys know where to get metric I've, I've never really checked fastenal every time I go into fastenal they're usually kind of jerks to me every other one I've been to I haven't been to one down here but yeah so if you guys know where to get good deal on nuts and bolts let me know all right i think we're ready to bolt the winch on now so just uh measure these and cut them down to the length i needed and then i use this handy tool right here it can uh kind of clean up the threads on the end of a bolt really nice to have you just you know put it in there and fire it off made sure all those threaded in and then just gotta put this guy on probably gonna thread in the I'm gonna put the first one on so that I can make the other holes without anything kind of moving or shifting. It makes it a little easier than the uh, than the dots. So I'm gonna get to that and then get this thing bolted on there. Well, that was definitely finicky. You gotta kind of hold the little squares in as you tighten from the bottom, but it is in there, nice and sturdy. I don't know how strong this aluminum is. I mean, it may just rip out or start to bend when I start pulling something heavy, but we'll see i mean if i have to uh redesign it it's not the end of the world or put some more like plating i don't know maybe maybe i'll have to who knows but now it's to wire it so these there's like a little box little trigger two wires that go to a battery I haven't figured all that out yet what i'm gonna do there but this already looks pretty good so put it on a little bit of an angle so it is kind of pulling the car straight up if that makes sense to you guys, it kind of makes sense in my mind. Maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, but should work. I mean, has a electric, it has a wireless remote, so I could sit in the car and pull myself up and steer. So that's kind of cool. 
or just be steering from outside the car and figure out how I'm gonna give it power. I, I know there's like a way where I could put like a battery pack in here and like charge it from the truck, that whole deal, but I don't know if I wanna go through all that because I don't plan on using it all that much. I may just set it up to where I can hook my jumper cables for my truck up to it because I got some really long jumper cables or maybe I will end up doing that I don't know haven't haven't decided yet but this solid deal definitely really happy with that and uh, now to wire it nicely okay so it's like 90% done now bolted down wired up the wire goes through into the toolbox here open the toolbox there's the control module waterproof here is the switch it's got a really long cord or you can use the wireless one so that's nice you can sit in the car and use it or use it from outside the car whatever and then it just has two wires that need to go to 12 volts so that i haven't figured out what i want to do yet i don't know if i want to uh, i don't know if i want to put a battery setup in here because i just don't really need that but if i do put a battery setup in there i'm going to put a couple of lights right here that shine at the trailer so I can see it because that's always one thing I want when I'm loading up is some lights. So I don't know, maybe, maybe, um, maybe I'll just hook it to the jumper cables in the truck. Those wires are really long and then I have really long jumper cables. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt to hook up, but it's really not that big of a deal in the end of the day. Okay, so I grabbed this old battery that I haven't thrown in the ocean yet so that I can, uh, test it out here so let's see that is the inefficient way to go out it has a free spool mode so you pull it out I don't really love the sleeves on oh yes plenty of room so you can go a little bit farther than that but you can use like ratchet straps and extend it or I usually keep like a couple of uh, straps with me like uh, I keep like a recovery kit usually in my truck the weather kind of changed on me a little bit here Well, you guys get the point on that. I don't think anybody wants to see me pull in a winch, but now I gotta pull it all back in because I did it like that. And uh, you always wanna keep some tension on your winch when pulling it in and kind of walk it back and forth so that it uh, reels up nicely. But other than that, we are done here. This is installed. All my stuff fits perfectly, cooler. All the cars need ice. And then side by siding, you definitely need a cooler. Fuel, obviously all my cars need fuel for now until I go electric, but fuel and winch. So everything you need to go racing. And I will do that eventually. FL2K is like 35 days away. So 40 days away-ish, something like that. So I'm definitely pumped for that. You guys know FL2K was kind of like the, it's kind of like what inspired me to want to build my car was my love for FL2K and it being such an awesome event. So I'm pumped, but it's about to rain. So I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thanks for watching, keep it saucy. I'll see you next time. Well, Bowser had to come check out the uh, winch install. It's an anvil winch, 4,500 pounds. Bowser, in case we ever need to pull you, we could pull you too. You freaking rubbing up against it, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry. You doing well? You're getting a little beak, bud. I'm gonna need to file that down or trim it or something. Sometimes they get a little bad, their beaks. He just rubs up against stuff. Like you just can't stop him. Crank this up for him a little bit. Give him a little more room to get in and out. So this is pretty interesting too. I don't know if you guys can see these two trails. That is not from a lawnmower or anything. That's from Bowser. Just walking back and forth all day just patrols the yard install is done it's an anvil we're ready to rip i gotta go edit make some phone calls but 
I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Keep it saucy. That's all I got for you. Thank you.